Right, and that will be the focus of our discussion on Checkpoint tonight. So do send in your views. The hashtag is Checkpoint. On SMS, we'll also be taking your views, 22155. Let's move very far away from politics. And now, many parents angrily demand for answers from their children whenever they fail in their exams or drop in their performance. And a few of the children can usually give a good excuse or two about why they did poorly. But a child with all physical and mental abilities intact would feel very embarrassed after watching this next story. A young man with no hands at all and only one leg has not only successfully gone through primary and secondary schools, but is currently an excellent student of information and communication technologies at a local university. Take a look at this. Over a decade and a half ago, Robert Gesander, who was five years old then, was full of hope for the good things in life. He had a strong desire of becoming a pilot someday. Little did he know that an accident at a road construction site in Yamira would put paid to his dreams. The then little boy would be run over by a tractor and trapped between the blades of the grater. He lost both hands and a leg. Okay, the caterpillar, it was uh, amending the, the, the road. So as, as small kids, we went there to check what was happening. Then um, it, it lost the control and it just uh, followed me. Then I don't know why I found myself in between the grinders of the caterpillar. During his stay of over a year in hospital, Robert would learn to do things using his only leg. Started with uh, drawing using the leg. Step by step, uh, I started it, uh, eating using the leg. Robert was taken to a children's home in Dagoretti upon discharge since he had lost his mother while his father remarried. He schooled while at the children's home. He later enrolled at Inorero University, courtesy of a good Samaritan, earning himself a diploma in ICT. My dream was to become a, a pilot, <laughs> but when the accident happened, I had to change the, my dream. He demonstrates to us just how he managed to get through the computer classes. Robert believes he needs to depend entirely on himself. Okay, the others who are, have the, the same challenges as, as I'm experiencing is that, um, okay, uh, everyone has a talent in them. It's good to use that talent instead of, um, okay, going to the streets, uh, begging and, yeah. As he pursues his degree in ICT, his biggest hope is that he will get a job to help him meet his basic needs.